This is your ASAP recap of Marvel's Cloak & Dagger Season 1, and here we go. Tandy and Tyrone were small kids when an oil rig explosion changed their lives forever. Tyrone lost his brother Billy, and Tandy lost her father. Now teenagers, Tyrone attends a prestigious prep school, while Tandy is a homeless con artist who drugs rich kids and jack them of their rich kid stuff. Tandy and Tyrone reconnect when she hits a party and jacks his wallet. He chases her and powers collide. Both Tandy and Tyrone start having visions of people's hopes and fears. But things heat up for our heroes when the guy that Tandy ripped off attacks her and she accidentally stabs him with a dagger of light. So Tandy goes on the run, leaving behind her partner in crime and romance, Liam. Meanwhile, Tyrone finds the cop that murdered his brother Billy, Detective Connors. Ty wants justice, which is why he keeps unconsciously teleporting to Connors. Both Tandy and Tyrone get a Voodon prescription for clarity with the help of his new lady friend Evita and her mambo auntie Chantel, which helps, but also reveals that one member of the Divine Pairing must always die, so not as helpful. <sighs> Detective O'Reilly. Hi, Detective. Detective Bridget O'Reilly is also on the scene and seems to be on Tandy's side. Good, we're gonna need all of the help we can get. Tandy finally realizes how when you touch people, you can see their fears. Yeah. And how when I touch someone, I can see their hopes. Why not use it? Tandy uses her hopeful powers to get clues on Roxanne who discredited her dad by pretending to be the intern for Mina Hess, the daughter of her father's former partner. While Tyrone works his way into Billy's old friend Dwayne's circle of trust because he's now Connor's drug lord. Guess we're both up for different lives. Things go upside down when Connors has Dwayne ambush Detective O'Reilly, but she takes him out instead. No! Tandy and Tyrone both escape and follow Mina to learn that Nathan Bowen's partner Ivan Hess is the lone survivor from the rig explosion and is stuck in a catatonic state. With some hard work, Tandy and Ty help him awaken and Mina is reunited with her dad. Yay! Ivan gives Tandy the clue she needs to bust rocks on once and for all, including how the energy that gave them their powers also makes people become berserk terrors. Tandy uses all of the clues to capture Roxxon's evil chief executive of risk management, Scarborough, while Tyrone tricks Connors into confessing to detectives O'Reilly and Fuchs. Connors goes to jail and Tandy and Tyrone are A-OK. -okay. When Tandy sees through her mom's fears that her dad was actually abusive, she's destroyed and takes a payoff from Scarborough. But her freshly sprung from prison ex, Liam, steals it! O'Reilly also discovers that her new boo, Fuchs, has been put on ice by Connors, literally. And worst of all, Connors frames Tyrone for Fuchs' murder. Oh, and remember that prophecy? It's Mardi Gras, and fear-inducing energy from Roxxon's pipes makes terrors run rampant through the city like a zombie apocalypse. It seems like either Tandy or Tyrone must die, but by sticking together, they find the source of the energy and diffuse it, also stopping the terrors. Meanwhile, Connors shoots O'Reilly into the water during the explosion. Connors then comes for the Divine Pairing, but disappears into Tyrone's cloak. Our Divine Pairing has lots yet to fix, but at least things across the city seem a little quieter. Except for Bridget O'Reilly emerging from the water? Ugh, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens in season two of Marvel's Cloak and Dagger. Watch all episodes of Marvel's Cloak and Dagger season one, now streaming on Hulu and Freeform.com, and tune in for the two hour second season premiere of Marvel's Cloak and Dagger at 8 p.m. April 4th, only on Freeform.